From Studio 3 at Buzz TV, it's The Horse's Mouth with Tom McManus. All right, welcome into another edition of The Horse's Mouth here on Buzz TV at my bar, of course, at Tommy Max, talking to the people of San Marco. Looking forward to that. Brought to you by our friends at truckcrashlaw.com and The Carpet Man. We're talking photography, we're talking real estate, we're talking marketing, and we're starting off by welcoming in our San Marco resident here on The Horse's Mouth. It's Leah Ressler back to the show. Hey, Leah. Hello. How are you? Doing well. How about yourself? Good to see you. Welcome Good. back. And, thank uh, you. you. Thank you. Happy friends. to be here. Hello. Yes, we've got three of the finest merchants of San Marco, of course. Beautiful. I love it. <laughs> Dan Harris of Dan Harris Photo Art. Uh, tell us a little bit about what you do. Well, I've been in business since 25 years at San Marco, okay. the same residence, and I started in wedding photography and advanced into um, commercial stuff, headshots, and actually now even manufacture my own wedding albums. Do you really? 25 years you've been doing yeah. it. Yeah. When did you make that? You know that decision like, when I got fired in. from my corporate job. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that'll do it. I was doing it on the side, okay. and then uh, you know thought, well, I'll try this for six months, and okay. you know I keep trying it for six months. What's your favorite? <laughs> What's your favorite thing to shoot? Well, like a wedding, an event, or just? I like uh, events, yeah, okay. and they're they're fast moving, but they're um, interesting. And the, the, I always joke that if uh, if I see something at your event that I haven't seen before, then that's very unusual. So. Right. I mean, Good. we can usually handle most everything because we've kind of seen it all. Okay. <laughs> Between <laughs> brides fainting and yeah, right. you know, wedding planners losing stuff and people losing wedding rings and, you know. Yeah. How much uh, pra is there practice? Like, you know what I mean? Like, not just shooting at the events or whatnot. That gives you your own practice as well. But, you, know, you like, when you're, you're downtime, you... Yeah, That's well, you, you have to know your camera. Okay. Like any uh, good photographer, if you don't know your camera, okay. you're, you're dead in the water. And, right. and the worst thing is if someone buys a new camera and then takes it to an event. Uh, what we do is we buy a new camera and then we go put it through the riggers, try okay. all kinds of things before out. we ever really use it live. And sometimes okay. we'll just use it as a backup in the meantime because awesome. nothing worse than... The sure. photographer yeah. going, ah! Yeah, right. Yeah. No All right, you brought some books, some albums. What, what yeah, yeah. Doing? So we manufacture. Let's start with the big guy right here. Yeah, we this make these beautiful. albums. That's, uh, that, oh, that's um, beautiful. That's got the, uh, I call it the shower uh, shower door cover. Yeah, there. I haven't okay. seen that before. I love that glass. <laughs> that but uh, we have that manufactured right here in Jacksonville, the cover, and then we send it up to New York for binding. Okay. But I invented a process which is called heirloom photo art, okay. which uh, it's a fingerprint proof, waterproof. If you spilled something on it, it's not going to hurt it. I need that for wow. my house. And you can just wipe it right off. Oh, Look right. at that. Beautiful. So it's a patented process we came okay. up with, and we do it That's right incredible. here out of my San Marco home. That's good great. to know. So See? Great. San Marco awesome. people, they're special. You're bringing them on <laughs> Yeah. Board. All right, who do we and have he's, next? He's a great partner to uh, the yeah. merchants as well with yeah. doing photography for Santa and um, all different events. So I love, love San Marco. Uh, yeah, of course, I used to live uh, in the apartments down here, and for years I looked for a house in the neighborhood, and they were always very expensive and then I realized yeah. I'm just gonna pay a lot for a house. If only we happened. knew someone to help you look for a house. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Ed Tooker. <laughs> We've got Ed Tooker here oh, of oh. Ed Tooker Real Estate. Thank um, you. And that. you had your headshot done by I did. Dan, Dan. picked my headshot. Love we it. actually do a lot Beautiful of shots. work in the community. See, look at, look at that. A lot of community involvement. I know Dan is a personal friend and a, you know, uh, you know We're at all the same vendors. best events. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel like he's following me around now. So do you um, have a specialty within the real estate market that you so, like to focus um, on? Working with sellers and buyers, um, okay. investors and people that are relocating to the city. Sure. Um, even with, you know, sometimes you hear doom and gloom and the news about real estate, but it's amazing how vibrant our city is yep. and how many people are still moving here every day. So there's a lot of opportunity. Um, I live and work right here in San Marco. I live sure. on Felch Avenue right by the okay. Metro Diner. I, I used to there. work at the end of Felch and Broward Studios. Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. Yeah. So it's just, it's so exciting to be in the community that I work. But, you know, I also work out at the beaches down in San, San Augustine. If I have okay. a, you know, somebody that likes me, know, like, and trust, I'll go down as far as Palm Coast or cool. Ocala okay. if I had to yeah. just to show them a house. Mostly residential, but you look Mo at commercial as well, you said. off. off exactly. Yeah, cool. um, mostly residential. Um, I did get my license back in 2006, so you know kind of what happened after that. Yep. Then I went back and took, I lived in Atlanta, did real estate, and then came to um, Jacksonville, where I loved to live, and I felt like I was coming back home. Okay. And I, about a year ago, I went through a riff with a major organization. So, you know, it's like, you know what, I want to go back to what I love, where I love to live. So it was 
destiny, Great. I guess. Absolutely. So kick, kick started my um, business again over the last year, sole proprietorship, um, really work with my clients as well as the vendors and every, every yep. part of the process, trying to manage those emotions. And I think I'm pretty good at it, especially being a customer care manager for many yeah. years. <laughs> uh, what's the market? How's the market? I mean, the market. What's the real story on the market? In, in Jacksonville, the market's still pretty strong. Okay. We don't have as much inventory as we used to have. Right. Buyers, it's a little weak We're getting the right buyers, I think, right now because of the interest rates. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, if that makes a change, we'll probably be living to 2020, 2021 again yeah. where there's a lot of action out there. So, sure. but right now, I think that the home prices are closer to what they need to be. Yep. So, um, if somebody's out there looking to buy a house, I think now is a good time. San Marco is a wonderful wonderful place, <laughs> although we only have 66 units on the market right here oh, gosh. in our okay, little Okay, so if you're looking in San Marco, little, you better you get know, it quick. Yeah. Yeah. So speaking of someone looking for a house in San Marco, <laughs> me, Katie Fletcher down at the end there, Moxie Hello. Marketing. Hello. We Welcome recently Katie. became friends. Uh, we actually were American Heart Association Women of Impact candidates All together. Right. Yes. So cool. we, were, we were competitors, but we decided to uh, become forces. real life <laughs> friends and That's join forces, good. Good. and then yeah. she joined the San Marco Merchants Association recently with awesome. Moxie Marketing. So tell yeah. us yeah. what Moxie Marketing does. So we're a marketing company. Okay. <laughs> it's in the name. <laughs> <laughs> and we have been in business for seven years. It okay. also, we I started as a side hustle. So, and then eventually it turned into, you know, okay. full-time thing. We've got employees um, and it's, a huge passion of mine and my husband's. We are cool. we own it together. All right. Yeah. Awesome. What what's your favorite thing about marketing? My favorite thing is aligning with our clients and getting them the results that they're looking for. Yeah. So yeah, at true. the end of the day, everyone's goal is more customers, more sales, more money, yeah. more income for the business. And so when we can when we can align and do that together, yeah. it's magic. <laughs> any any uh, are you as far as businesses you guys cover you pretty much cover them all or yeah other, I mean niches that you go after or what, what do you guys focus on we range in everything so okay. we have we work with influencers um, okay. we work with political candidates okay. we work with roofing companies boutiques you name it we probably do yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. you and are now working with the San Marco Merchants Association yes. okay nice so they're going to be redoing our website and taking over our social media. Oh, wow. yes. so we have a wonderful neat. volunteer doing the social media now. Got to give yep. her props, but it's you know she's got a yep. day job that isn't marketing. So yeah. Moxie has offered <laughs> that to take that job. over for how us. How do you rank the uh, the social media channels in marketing? Like, how, what would be what's is it Instagram? Is that number one? I know TikTok's up there. It depends on your audience. Right. So. Okay. A beauty brand, maybe TikTok and Instagram, is going to be a okay. better audience. Um, if you're a, you know, screen enclosure or a lighting company, sure. maybe Facebook. And okay. it's it runs with targeted ads. Um, mm -hmm. I like to say that social media is a tool. It's top of funnel marketing, so it's really just to create brand awareness. Sure. And then some when. When you're doing SEO or working with Google, if you're actually, if you need a new roof, you're going to look for that. Yep. An ad is not going to drive you to a new roof. No one right. wants to pay for a new roof. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So no, the, right, it's right. just, it's all targeted exactly how, who the customer is, who's the target audience, and okay. how does that work best. So, so, so listening to all, and it's great to have you on the show, all three, you got, you, you all got to be good listeners. Yes. Right to your client, like that's got to be one of the keys. Like, right, you got to deliver to what they want. You said it best. Mm -hmm. So that's got to be one of the, you. You really got to focus on what what they want. And, yeah, there's and not a one size fits all. Yeah, so right. everyone's a little bit different. Yeah, I think everything we do is custom. Right. For that client. Yes. yes. And and you know we try to make them look their best, but that's yep. going to be different things for different people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To me, it's like a journey with the customer. Yeah. The journey, the the customer thinks they know what they want. And we kind of put that all into the mix, but sure. at the end of the day, it might be something completely different, or maybe it's not the price point they thought it was going to be. Sure. Maybe right. it's not the area of town they wanted to live in, because homeownership is the foundation of a lifestyle. Yep. Right. So I think that really is like where it starts for them, and it's really Definitely. figuring that out yep. and having a fun journey with and them. And reading between the lines. I come from a design background as well, and a lot of yep. times our clients would maybe say they wanted something, but when we listened to what they were actually saying, but maybe not using the proper words for, right. we would deliver a design for their yard that 
was not what they were expecting, but right, right. they loved it so much more. Yeah, like here's <laughs> an idea. Yeah. It's so no, no, nothing wrong with suggestions, right? Hey, I, I'm listening to you, but yeah. what do you think of this? And then they're like, oh, wait, I, I like that, right? Yes. That's part of the creative process. Well, it's, mm -hmm. it's funny. We'll get, we'll get brides from uh, New York come down, and they want to do tiki torches on the beach, the guy's wearing black suits at the end of August. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I'm very, very quick to say, I no. don't think that's going to work. No. <laughs> yeah, you Definitely sure you not. Let's switch the colors at least. Yeah. Right? Yes. A little lighter yes. out here. Well, thank you all for being here. Thank you. I uh, wish you nothing but the best. It's been a pleasure having you at the bar. Thanks, Leah. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Thanks, guys. That's right. And go San Marco. There you yeah. go. Go, go San, San Marco. Marco. All right. San Marco it. Merchants Association. They're yes. even better. That'll do it for us this time around. Hey, you want to check out all their profiles? Go to IWantaBuzz.com. You'll see this conversation and many others that we have right here at the bar at Tommy Max. So until next time, you stay safe and be cool out there. We'll see you right here on the Horses Cheers.